So the folks at Wonder Dynamics, the creators of Wonder Studio, have just announced a new addition to the suite of tools that they've had. Actually, this is more of an improvement to what they have currently, and it is definitely one I would suggest that you go ahead and try out. And for those who have no idea what Wonder Studio is, this is an AI tool that automatically animates, lights, and composes your CG character into a live action scene. It's also worth mentioning that this doesn't only do that, as it also offers a lot more features and functions that you might want to consider looking at. And this includes body motion capture, lighting and compositing of characters in scenes, facial animation, hand motion capture, advanced retargeting, character passes, alpha mask, clean plates, camera track, and so on. And the camera tracking is where the new update is, as they've just introduced the camera tracking and point cloud. So previously, you do get your camera motion, but these do not come with point clouds that actually tells you exactly where things are in space, which is really relative to the footages that you've uploaded. And this makes a lot of sense, as this would enable artists and creators to match their camera move in 3D space relative to the actor's performance and the surrounding environment. And what this means is any footage that has a character in it can now be tracked and point clouds generated. And for those who like to try this out, of course, you can definitely go over the link in the description that will bring you right here, where you can check it out. It is also worth mentioning that we did test this and we noticed a few things. Now, first off, before you get started with testing this, you need to have some form of subscription. So the first things which I'll suggest you do is go over to the page, log in, and once you log in, you can go over to where you have upgrade plan and you need to be on either of these two for you to take advantage of some of the cool features that these actually brings to the table. Once you have this done, the next thing you need to do is go over to the section where you have create new project. Now within the create new project section, you do have your live action easy, you have your live action advanced and the AI motion capture. This generates motion capture for both the hands, the face, and all that stuff, while this generates motion capture, and you can also compose and light with this. And with the live action easy, you can simply drag and drop any footage you have and load that in. And once you load in the footage, the next thing you need to do is to click on the next button, and this will prompt you to scan your frames or the footage for actors. So once you click on scan, it scans the footage for actors, and you can simply select the actor, select any of the actors you want to replace this actor, and drop it right there. Next thing you need to do is click on next and from here is where you can select what kind of files you want to get so if you'd like to just simply get clean plates probably you want to generate clean plates you can do that this is what we're interested in of course if you like to also do the whole ai motion capture stuff you can also do that and you can turn on which of these ones that you want so we already did this previously and what we have is an interesting result like this and of course you can tell with this result that the ai matches the movement of our character in the original footage with what we have with the generated one. It is uh, pretty interesting what you can do with this one. Once you have this ready, you would want to download either of the files that we selected earlier. So if you like to get the camera track, you can get camera track. And if you like to download the whole Blender file, you can also download the whole Blender file. If you want to get USD and also the Maya file, you would need to set this up when we were setting those up earlier. So with the Blender file downloaded, let's load this up and see exactly what we get. So I'm just going to click and drop that right in here. All right. There are some very interesting things that we have here. So you can you can tell that we have all this point clouds looking really, really nice. And this is the robot character that we had from before, which is really cool as well. I'm sort of loving the whole thing. So how do you you know, how do you work with this? This is really, really simple. So all you need to do is have this selected, tap zero on the keyboard, and you're right there. And if you press the playback button, you would notice that it animates based off the distance. So it sort of calculates the point cloud. And at, at this point, if you would want to place anything, say geometries or stuff within your scene, and this is definitely gonna be super useful for indie artists trying to do some very good VFX, and maybe your small studio, you're trying to do some VFX stuff. This is awesome. You can you can literally just go ahead and work with it. One of the things which you would also notice is if we switch over to rendering, this gives you an idea of what you're dealing with. So it does not just only put these points in space, it also sort of colors them in a way where you can tell where certain things are at various points. And it would give you a lot of guide in case you're trying to just point things and you know place things within your scene. And if this is something that you're so into, this would be good. So despite the fact that you have the whole camera tracking, 
you have the whole AI robot stuff working for you, making the whole character that you have within your footage, you now have something that can give you more like a visual idea of where things are and you can have a proper track with it. Now, the things that we don't know so much about in this one, which I'm yet to explore personally, is things like the focal length. This seems to be changing with um, various stuff. I'm yet to try this with my own footage, which I'll probably shoot sometime within the weekend and we're going to explore that sometime next week. But other than that, this does a very good job. Now, one other thing which I noticed, which I believe a lot of you guys may want to explore as well, is this. If you do have a footage that doesn't contain any character, this would probably not work because it needs a character to identify where this thing is in space. So hopefully in subsequent updates, this might actually allow for playing footages without characters to be solved. And this is definitely going to cut down on a lot of things. But then if you're just looking at this tool as a tool which you can use to do multiple stuff, say for example, you do have a couple of characters and you like to get either a reference, a clean plate, an animated character, which you can at any point in time just fiddle with, then this is it. And you know, something that is really cool is all of the characters that you get here, once you download them, they come fully rigged. Of course, they do have texturing issues, which you can literally fix at any point in time by going over to the character texture page. And right here is where you get to find all of the textures. So these are sort of bundled differently. So by default, once you download this, you get to see that fuchsia pink looking color on, on the model. But then if you need the textures, you need to go over to this. I'm going to link this in the description just in case you want to get it. But they come fully rigged, which means you can animate them to suit what you're trying to go for. So if you're looking at a, a bundled pack or you're looking for a tool set that can get you up and running, where you can just, you know, give a few commands and go ahead and do something else while the PC handles, let's say the cleaning up, get, giving you like cleanup plates, giving you animated characters, generating point clouds, solving the entire camera, all of these bundled into one piece, then by all means, go ahead and get it. Other than that, I would suggest that if you're just thinking about solving cameras alone, there are a couple of tools out there that you can use. Okay, so some of these tools are either paid, some of them are obsolete, but if you can find them, do find them and use them, they're really cool. And of course, you can also do your solving in Blender. Now, the good thing about all of this is if you choose to just solve your camera, you can use this as a very, very good guide. Now, I've worked with a few other tools and I can tell you for free that having these point clouds would save you some time. Especially, it's going to take away a little bit of a guesswork in terms of knowing where to place certain things. So it just helps and makes your life relatively easy. So this is it. Amazing stuff are coming and we are expecting to see more stuff as the future unfolds. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.